To be successful with images, it's imperative that you automate and systematize these things. Not only is this going to save you time, but it's going to ensure that these things actually get done. What you want to incur instead is the flash of unstyled text. And this is when the browser initially displays text using a system font and then swaps it out for the custom font once it has arrived. The good news here is that this fix is literally a one-liner. Everywhere in your CSS where you declare a font face, add the line font display swap. This tells the browser to use that swapping behavior that I just talked about in the previous slide. The idea behind code splitting is instead of sending all the JavaScript code to your users as soon as they load the very first page of your application, it's to only send them what they need for their initial states and then allow them to fetch future chunks on demand. The easiest way to get started with code splitting is by using dynamic imports. Now, dynamic imports has been supported in Webpack for quite some time. And it allows you to import a module asynchronously where a promise gets returned. Once that promise finishes resolving, you can do what you need to do with that piece of code. Now, a number of JavaScript libraries and frameworks have provided abstractions on top of dynamic imports to make the process of code splitting easier with your current tooling. 